the approval of benzodiazepine in kidney cancer is a major, uh, major milestone for the field of kidney cancer for the patients and the caregiver. This is a drug with a different mechanism of action. We've been used for approval of oral drug, we call them target therapy or immunotherapy. Now this is another class of agent that could be given a single agent and hopefully in future in combination where patient can have a benefit uh, from it. It's well tolerated and it's an oral drug so it can be taken at home. This was a study that patient with metastatic kidney cancer, clear cell renal cell cancer, the most common type of kidney cancer, were randomized one-to-one -to, -one to receive a control uh, by the name Everolimus, which is an mTOR inhibitor that is used in later lines versus Belzotif. And we tried to look at the primary endpoint of progression-free survival and overall survival. The study met its primary endpoint of progression-free survival leading to a 25% decrease in the risk of progression or death. That's what we call progression-free survival improvement or PFS. Overall survival was measured and despite there's a numerical difference favoring also benzotifen, it did not meet statistical significance. On the other hand, responses were way higher, around uh, 4% versus uh, 22% with benzotifen favoring, and the quality of life also favored benzotifen. Most drugs are uh, oral therapies. And they were seeing some rare but real complete responses, complete responses with benzotifen that we didn't see at all, uh, not even one in Everolimus. So maybe the drug should be used earlier and earlier and not be left to later lines. And we will know that because the trial already uh, finished uh, accrual. We have been using this drug now for some time from the phase one uh, that established, that was the step before uh, this clinical trial. We're very excited and uh, it was a major presentation during the European Society of Medical Oncology ESMO meeting in uh, 2023 in uh, Madrid. We didn't have the autoimmune side effects with immunotherapy. We didn't have the same side effects as drug like cabozentinib or sunitinib, uh, which is hypertension, fatigue, diarrhea. Two major side effects with benzotifen to be careful about and monitor. One is anemia. And one of the reasons is there are multiple downstream protein inhibited, including erythropoietin, the one that makes the protein make red blood cell, this will go down. And that means the drug is getting in and the resultant is anemia. The anemia was manageable. We have experience, we transfuse blood. Sometimes we go down on the dose and sometimes we give exogenous erythropoietin. And uh, the other one is hypoxia. So uh, we can detect that by, you know, the pulse ox that is part of the vital signs. Uh, usually we've seen it in, in patient, a lot of patients that didn't have the best pulmonary function. We have to be careful about that and sometimes stop the drug, decrease the dose, re-challenge. And I think that's also on target because um, uh, HIF2, which is the target of benzotifen, plays a physiologic role uh, in the lungs. Still, the percentage of hypoxia and the overall, um, you know, serious side effects that happen from hypoxia remain very low. So the benefits certainly, in my opinion, outweigh the risks. The fact that we have another option that is different is something very encouraging. Now, on the flip side, not everybody responds. There are patients that do not benefit at all. That's our job. We're trying to look at specific biomarkers that can predict who will respond and who will not respond. That's something we always do rather than giving the drug as a blanket. And that work is ongoing. So what we're trying to do now is we're combining positifen with other active drug and in earlier setting of the disease in patient that never had therapy or in patient 
that need a prevention uh, from the kidney cancer that is coming back. But I think there is still room to do studies to understand the mechanism of actions of bezotifen and what bezotifen does in, uh, you know, the tissue, the tumor itself, the tumor micro environment. Uh, we have only scratched the surface with bezotifen, the first drug of its kind in uh, metastatic kidney cancer in terms of HIF2 inhibition. But I think it will open the door to uh, many more experiments, a lot of research, and certainly, and most importantly, more hopes for patients and their families.